it moves, it draws yarn and winds it onto spindles over and over again. I'm talking about the spinning rule, one of the key inventions of the Industrial Revolution and the working horse of the British textile industry as it was expanding in the north to cities such as the one that we're in today, Leeds. Johann Conrad Fischer visited Leeds for the first time in 1814 as he was visiting the industrializing north and his host here in Leeds was Benjamin Gott, a young entrepreneur. He quickly became one of the greatest textile producers of Leeds. The factory that you can see behind me is Armley Mill. Gott bought the factory in 1805. It was the first time that Fischer would set foot in what we today would also recognize as a modern factory. Fischer became friends with Gott. That's why he could visit the factory. In another place that he commented in his journal in the Iron Library online edition that you can find down below, he mentions that English factories are closed off as like monasteries. Unfortunately, this was the case for us today. But we did spot another thing at the Science Museum in London, albeit on a smaller scale. This is how a typical factory floor would have looked like in the time of Johann Conrad Fischer. You have a steam engine over there that powers the transmission belts and they transmit the energy to power all kinds of machines that you can see here on the shop floor. A similar mechanism would have powered the power looms and spinning mules at Armley Mills in this building. This is the Leeds Liverpool Canal. In Fisher's days, it would have been brimful with canal boats bringing goods back and forth between these two cities. In the body of England's industry, this would have been one of the main arteries. The Gott family that owned this mill didn't live too far away from here. In fact, it's only a 15 minutes walk up the canal. This is what mill wealth could get a family. I'm standing here in front of Gott Mansion or Armley House, as it's also known. It was built in the 1780s. It was acquired by Benjamin Gott in 1812 and then redesigned by Robert Smirk. Robert Smirk was also the architect of the British Museum and we're gonna see that in an upcoming episode. Even after the death of Benjamin Gott, Fisher stayed in touch with the family. They remained friends and he was welcomed back numerous times as an honored guest to their mansion. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.